What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video and today we are back on Desperado's franchise. Big game last week for Luke Townsend. Hoping to continue that today. We have a breakout player challenge but also we have some coach XP. I've kind of been neglecting this a little bit. Feels like the perfect opportunity to take away LB and DB from our to-do list. So we have maxed out training boost for those players which not sure how much it's really going to affect things but we're going to do it anyway. And we have a breakout player challenge for Luke Townsend. Two picks last week for the rookie. Will he be able to continue that today? I don't know. Now, this could be especially difficult to hold the Broncos to under 200 passing yards. This is going to be fluky. This is going to be real fluky. So maybe we'll send some cornerback blitzes or something or play him near the line of scrimmage to maybe get a tackle for loss. I'm not really sure. That one could be especially difficult. That one could be very, very tough. But if Luke Townsend can go up to star development, that would be just massive for his development, obviously, because he's a safety that's converted to play corner because his coverage was so close and it kind of has worked out well, I would say, so far. He just looked more like a corner, still with good hit power. The block shedding wasn't especially high. But when you look at him, he's really, really close to being a great option for us. But uh, we just need, you know, a little extra nudge to get him upgraded and developed a little bit faster. So that is the goal today. Hold the Broncos to under 200 yards or get him a TFL sack or interception. And it could be quite difficult. I'm not going to negotiate with Titus Howard for this episode. We will check out scouting, though. Uh, maybe check out linebackers. I feel like we have a decent second option. And we might end up moving to a 4-3 next year anyway. And, I mean, <laughs> the linebacker options, at least on the inside, are no bueno. They look super, super bad, and that's about all the scouting points we have this week. We're facing the 4-8 and eight Denver Broncos. We have Ben Bredesen back today. He's going to be starting at left guard, which is kind of a big improvement over Burton, who's only a 68 overall. Bredesen's nearing a 75, should be our starter. He's a really good run blocker, so we might be able to run off that left side a little bit better. If you guys are new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's a, uh, it's an interesting franchise series. That's all about what I can say about it. My gameplay is not great. I only play the game when uh, you see these videos. It is raining. That could help us with the pass defense. Maybe they're going to run the football a little bit more. Maybe the passes are going to be less accurate. Here's the problem. When I struggle so greatly to run the football with this team, and we're going to have to run the ball in the rain we might not have an offense so that that might be a problem but edward teague's gotten it going a little bit of late so you never know hopefully we lean on him today we get him going he got chemmed up or what is it uh superstar x factor activated activated for the first time in franchise history so we're gonna throw that down it's going for pat bridge there not a great start safety blitz Maybe Naheem Hines out of the backfield would be good. You got to pick up that block. Oh, we're going to run with Schmidt. Look at all the space. Vanilla Vic off to the races. 26 yards for Matthew Schmidt there. And that's just what we do now. I'm not sure that Edward Teague has ever had a 100-yard game. But with Ben Bredesen back, I think we have a really good chance to do that. Not that he's anything special, but he's at least better. Maybe need to try and cut that outside. Didn't really like the options. And I'd like to dial up a screen here on third and four. Bit of a gamble, but this is four down territory, so I'm kind of willing to take some risks. And we'll snap the football. I'm actually going to the other side. Get Troy Weldon. It wasn't the design of the play, but I saw it open. I was reading that initially, and we got the first down. Third and three. I want to drag Duvernay, because I'm probably going to roll out to the right. We've watched enough videos to know that's just what I like to naturally do. But there's Devin Duvernay. Actually breaks a tackle. He's still going. Devin Duvernay down to the 20. This offense, it's looking a little ugly right now, but we're getting the job done. So can you really hate on it? Might be a safety blitz here. I think we have some really good options, though. I want maybe Devin Duvernay? No. I want... Accidentally flipped that. Okay. I want the outside receiver to run a drag. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty good. Just get the snap off. And there is the drag. I don't know what that flag could be. Roughing the passer, probably. 
That would be ideal. It is going to be roughing the passer. We're going to get the ball on, like, what, half the distance to the goal from the end of the play? Yep, first and goal on the two. Should we run the football here? I think we should be able to get away with it. Edward Teague. Just unblocked. What are we supposed to do there, man? I mean, we're running towards our best defensive players. But we got Buckner, who's an offensive lineman, in as our third tight end. We should have the speed. We're going with the pitch. Just seal the outside, please! God, man. We end up losing a yard. I gotta go back and look at this, because this is incredibly frustrating. The blocking could not have been worse. Buckner goes for a double team. I think that's stupid. But then look at Wayne. Where he is in the space, maybe I should try and do a crazy spin move back. That would have been next level. But I thought Matthew Wayne was either going to pick up one of these guys, and he never really does. I decide to go outside, right, and follow the block because I knew we had the speed to outrun Justin Simmons, and he just blocks him right into us. Unless you want me to perform some type of next level IQ spin move as soon as I caught the toss, that play is never going to work with the blocking. That's so frustrating. So we get no points. Should have been a guaranteed touchdown on that last play. I also updated some superstar abilities. So we have secure tackler on Jameel Holloman now. I'll go over with them or with you guys next episode. I kind of forgot. We had a lot going on at the start here. It is third and seven. Defense has played well. Of course, we're trying to hold the Broncos to under 200 yards passing. And I just, I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. It's not my zone. Is this a run? Oh, nice tackle. There's Jameel Holloman. He's not getting run over anymore. Going sideline. Incomplete. Broncos are going to punt the football right back to us. Pretty good defensive effort for us. Doesn't look like this is going to be a very high scoring game, but you never know. I wish I could make like some sort of counter play here. But it's just not in our uh in our like audibles as that's an unbelievable throw. Pat Bridge, nice catch, but Schmidt is kind of on the money so far today. It's a really, really nice play. I think we're going to drag him here as well. And maybe Teague is a nice little check down option. We're going to just throw to Pat Bridge. We'll get him going as we end the first quarter here. Let's try and bounce this outside maybe. Oh, actually, let's follow that little hole. Okay, not much there. Eight rushes for eight yards. Tough start for Edward Teague so far. Nothing new. Happens pretty much every game. Let's just go with the dive here. Follow Matthew Wayne. Should have something there. He really didn't block the way I expected him to, but it doesn't matter. We get our longest run of the day for Edward Teague. Play action. We got little Troy Weldon action. He tries to reach for the first down. Crazy good tackle there. And it is second and inches. Naheem Hines into block on this sweet play to Edward Teague. See how it works. We're just going to try and follow the blocks as much as we can and still get the correct amount of yardage for the situation. I think I maybe even gave Matthew Schmidt, is it pocket or roaming dead eye? I'm not really sure. As we find Pat Bridge, he's going to be just short. 10 of 12 so far passing for 95 yards. And I think we're going to call power O here. See if we can pound it in. Didn't work last time. We ran the football in this situation. We're going to try it again. And oh my goodness. Once again, the players just blocked directly into me. Coach wants us to go for it. You know what? We might as well go for it again. The odds of getting shut out twice, they're lower. So we're going to throw this time. We're going to scramble. Just kidding. We're not going to throw. Matthew Schmidt, another rushing touchdown for him on the year. Vanilla Vic, of course. Merch link in the description. But we have Luke Townsend here playing the nickel. That's interesting. Trying to take away reads, and he's just going to throw it away. If Luke Townsend could have gotten a sack there, that would have been excellent. But Drew Locke only has 22 yards passing right now. So we're in a really, really good spot. 
Running man coverage here is kind of risky, so we're going to actually opt out of that. And they're going short. Townsend, no! That was the interception chance. Oh, no. There it was, man. Oh, huge hit! We actually got a fumble! That was a user hit sick with Jameel Holloman. How did that even happen? I gave him reach elite. Fun fact. I don't know if that played an impact there. Because I'm caught on a block, and then I just hit sticked. And somehow, Jameel Holloman delivers a hit stick. I mean, not even close. And getting forced to fumble. If that's going to stand. It looked close on the replay. But it is going to stand. What a weird play. I'm not complaining. Jameel Holloman makes a massive play for us. As we're going to take the blocking from the screen and just run with Matthew Schmidt. And we fumble out of bounds. Probably should not have taken the hit. That was really, really stupid. Tell you what. Matthew Schmidt of late has played very, very well. Very well. It's almost scary. And just, we just keep running. And that's all we need to do. Five rushes, 81 yards, and a touchdown. Elite rushing numbers for a quarterback. It is second and four. I tried to get it to triangle. Leak guy foe two gets in there for the sack. That's going to be the two minute warning. Just stayed watching the routes for too long. Definitely a huge mistake there. Definitely a, hu a huge mistake. I need star dev for Luke Townsend, but the Broncos are in this two minute drill. We know how teams perform, usually in the fourth quarter to get the magical points needed. But they're in the two minute drill uh, in the first half now, and they're just crushing it. Intentional grounding, gotta be intentional grounding. Gotta be. Are you kidding me? Roughing the passer? Can I take this penalty out of the game? It happens like five times a game. It's never actually roughing the passer. Golly. Townsend. No, no, no. He overran the route. This is the BS at the end of the half that I'm talking about. That happens every time. Luke Townsend, who is the player we need to make a big play today, allows the touchdown. And the Broncos got to be over 100 yards passing for the game. It's, it's close, but... Oof. We got to play a really nice second half, or at least run the football a lot, take time off the clock. Star Dev is incredibly important. 45 seconds, though, we can score before the half. We can score. Going deep. Saw pressure. Uh, just click the button. I do that sometimes. I saw, I think it was Severus Gibbons down that right sideline. Looked like an okay option, one on one. I'm alright with taking the shot. But we're going to scramble. Troy Weldon. Decent block. Oh my goodness. Matthew Schmidt has fumbled the ball. Recovered. Luckily. I tried to get out of bounds, and I thought that block was going to set up differently so I could run by him and then get out of bounds. We're very lucky to recover that fumble. That's open. Sixth throw, dude. I mean, this is when we might want to take a chance. We want me. We might want to take a chance here. Either you're Devin Duvernay, but I think probably Devarius Givens gonna have a more favorable one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to him. Make the catch. Devarius Givens incomplete. Givens again can't make the play. We should just take our points at this point. It's a long one, but I think we can get it. Kick is up. Wow, didn't get it. Seven mile per hour wind. I thought that would blow back a little bit more. But we didn't have the most accurate kick in the world anyway. Third and four. Do I trust man coverage here? You know, not really. But we're going we're gonna to do it anyway. I hope our guys make a play. Uh, okay. All right, Jerry Judy. Let's play action. Throwing underneath. Big hit, Isaiah Simmons, and he holds on. Trying to take away everything. He is all day, and then it's intercepted by Orlando Jones. 
Uh, I was wondering if maybe we could pitch it to Townsend and it would count for an interception for him. <laughs> Orlando Jones with a big pick, though. That'll work. That'll work. It's not the player we need to get the interception, but it will help hold the Broncos to under 200 yards passing. I'm trying to hit R1. We rolled out right into a sack because that's the way the play is designed because it's stupid. We're rolling out. Oh, man. I, I, that's so frustrating. Devarius Givens, nice catch. He had so much separation until he's bumped randomly at midfield. And then that totally defeated the purpose of me stopping there to throw. As it's third and two. We're going to try running the football here. Oh, there we go. Good blocks. Good blocks. Teague. Man, he's got the spin ability, and it, his spin's terrible. He doesn't fool anybody. Third and six. What is Justin Simmons doing in center field there? I'm going to throw it. Oh, man. That would have been a BS interception. I mean, Troy Weldon was open. Uh, we're just going to take our, uh, our points here. Aim this one a little bit more down the middle, just because... Uh, the wind doesn't really do anything. Maybe blew it back. <laughs> that was way too close. We get the field goal. We get our points. I'm just totally caught out of position. I don't know what that is at all. Simmons, big hit. Does not fumble, though. He's no Jameel Holloman. It is third and nine. See if someone can make a nice play. I don't really want to use her the LBs here. Just because they're... They should be good by themselves in coverage. As that's just an easy check down. Idiot. Fourth and seven. The Broncos are going to punt. Oh, no. That's no bueno. Ugh... <sighs> Zach Bond's going to house it. That is unfortunate. I don't really know what else to say. That's just not good. How did this happen, man? All it takes is one turnover, and the game completely changes. Nice little RPO there to Devin Duvernay. Shows the pass. See any blitzing off that offensive right. We're going to go ahead and hand off across the formation. There's Naheem Hines. End up spinning right at Justin Simmons, who will wrap up. First rush of the game for Naheem. Goes for 13. I'm going to call an RPO. Screen. Other side of the formation. We're going to go for the handoff. Oh, there's Edward Teague. He's just faster. Teague goes to the house. 33-yard touchdown. Maybe the longest run of his entire career. Oh, my goodness. I hardly believe it. We actually got an opportunity to get outside and use that speed. Edward Teague, big touchdown. He got up almost to 22 miles per hour. Of course, we are going to go for two. We'll do whatever coach says. I almost want to run the football here, but we're going to just stick to our guns. Pass. On the run, it's intercepted in the end zone. Listen, it's not going to count as an interception, obviously. But uh, the fact that Pat Bridge is so open, I get that I'm on the run. It's not an easy throw. You know, pressure as well. Because I, I thought about running here and then just bad timing. And then Pat Bridge comes wide open. I mean, it, it couldn't really have been a worse throw. I'm going to blitz with Holloman. So we got caught so far out of position. Thankfully, we have a receiver that has no clue about what's going on. Who caught that one? Dylan Archibald comes in the game. That feels bad. Second and five. Just run. Just run. Holloman just gets redirected. But nice tackle. I think that's Deion Brown. Third and three. Do I want to be on Isaiah Simmons here? Going check down, and that is... They're going to call that complete. I have my doubts. Either way, it is fourth and seven, and Denver is going to punt. This should take us about to the end of the third quarter. They actually kick it much earlier than I expected. We might have a chance to score before the end of the third quarter. Not that that especially even matters. 
Not a great return there. As we need to go 65 yards for the score. Let's get it going. I don't know what I want here. Maybe Pat Bridge. It's wide open over the middle. Jesus Christ. Nice. Nice pass. Nice pass. Good timing there. Everything worked out pretty well. Can we get circle? That's actually a super good throw, and we just didn't animate to the ball. I wanted to take the check down there, but Devarius Gibbons just looked so open that I kind of had to throw it, had to take the chance. That's open. Nice little Devin Duvernay. Oh, broken tackle as well. Another gain of about 15. We've been doing that a lot this game. But our running attack has been as good as it ever has been. With Ben Bredesen back, we actually get another block. It's Edward Teague, another 30-yard touchdown. Edward Teague, career game. He has 10 career rushing touchdowns. Two of them are in this very game. Pretty much back-to-back -back runs for Edward Teague. On back-to-back -back drives, for sure. And it's another 30-yard touchdown for someone who's earning that starting running back job, for sure. Drew Locke's at 128 yards passing right now. We need to hold the Broncos to under 200. Now, if they only get passing yards and go the length of the field, we're going to be screwed. Okay, third and five. We're going to play it safe. We're going to play it safe. I'm actually going to blitz that. And hopefully that tight end just stays in a block. He doesn't. Oh, and it's a sack! Jeremiah Langford! Big Bengals salute. That's what that is. And the Broncos are going to punt. Jeremiah Langford... Did I say Jeremiah? Let me tell you something about this Jeremiah Langford, right? That's how I sounded right there. Uh, but he makes a really, really huge play. That's not only big for the game, that's big for the potential star development upgrade for Luke Townsend. I mean, we just stepped out of bounds there with R1. Schmidt, just be faster! He's going to fumble. He's going to fumble. Someone's got to come over and get that. No, 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 no. Bradley Chubb's going to house this. He's gassed, but we have no one even close. So that just went bad from the start. No way, man. It's been two fumbles. Defensive holdings, that's on me. Elton Jenkins would have been bad either way. But, I mean, take a look at this right here. Take a look at this. I don't know why they call that a two-yard run. We have R1. Devin DuVernay, step out of bounds, becomes ineligible. So we go to scramble and said nothing's open. And then it'd be nice to see like these blockers actually follow the, the play if you had any type of awareness. And I thought we would have had them, man. I think we just ran out of energy. And then it's an automatic fumble. 27th ranked rushing attack prior to this game. And we have exceeded that by a lot. It's time to just run the football into the ground. And by that I mean like you know, behind our blockers. I'm not even really trying to bust off any big runs. We're just trying to just piece away, waste some time, and win this football game. We're only up by five. We made some big mistakes. It's been the fumbles of Schmidt, man. We're not throwing interceptions. We're fumbling. That's going to be a 10-yard run. Edward Teague has superstar X-Factor first one free ability unlocked. He is in the zone. Got to love first one free. And we have space again! Edward T gonna make one man miss! Said it in advance because of his ability, but 18 rushes for 126. Finally playing like a superstar. And they're going for the football. Naheem Hines is in, we need a break. Tell you what, I like the various givens on this corner. Get it in there, make the catch, go up and get it, and it's intercepted. Oh, that's like the worst possible thing that could have happened there. I thought we had a, I thought we had a step, or two, or three. If Drew Locke leads the comeback, it's going to be very, 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 very close to 200 total yards passing, which is uh, super unfortunate. There's a flag. Please be holding. It's roughing the passer. I mean, that might have saved us for the star development upgrade for Luke Townsend because I can't count as passing yards. I can't believe I've done this again, man. 
And of course, the CPU is going to score a TD here. Like, they just... It's not possible to get a stop. Oh, Jones, please. Make me eat my words right there. But we know how the CPU is at the end of the game. Like, it's, it's a touchdown waiting to happen. What? You're kidding me with this game, man. I'm right there. And somehow he just still catches it right in front of me. Jones, make the play! Pass breakup, at least. I think we accidentally just kept Tatum in the game. With a shoulder strain with medium re-injury risk. A little bit concerned about that. We're going to change the defense here. And just get back. I mean, Townsend's on the other side of the planet. It's going to be a touchdown. How does no one tackle there, dude? God. Someone get to Drew Locke, please. I mean, how many passing yards do they have right now? I don't know why they're kicking this. Oh, they have the lead. That's why they're kicking it deep. Drew Locke at 187. All right, two-minute drill for the game. Down by one, field goal wins it. I can't believe it, dude. I mean, these games are close. They're entertaining. <laughs> we get that at least. Main goal right now is just don't fumble. Don't fumble. We had some options here too. I'm not trying to throw an interception either. We have 200 yard rushers for the first time ever. Maybe even the last time ever. Teague is in the zone. It's hard not to give them the ball right here. I just can't. No, 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 no. That's almost a throw out of sack. Stupid interception. And it's fourth and two. Schmidt is tired. I can't run the ball here. I just need someone to make a play. Schmidt, just run. Just run. Just run. Dangerous. Would love to various givens to get open here. But that's even more open. Troy Weldon. We're going to spin back. We're going to call a timeout. Probably should try and get to the sideline there. I wanted an extra 5 or 10 when we have timeouts. We're rolling out. I think it's open. Nice little pass lead to various Gibbons gets out of bounds at the 35. Play action is dangerous here, but it could be effective. Linebacker bites down. We're rolling out. We have it. We have it. Devin Duvernay. Nice catch. We got to call a timeout. 25 seconds to play. It's a good timeout. That's a good game. I don't trust the field goal, man. You guys know how I miss these. You guys know how I miss these. Happens with regularity. Schmidt, sideline. Duvernay catches it. He's out at the six. We still have a timeout. Do we go Edward Teague here? He's got first one free, man. I think we can make something happen here. And we have a timeout. This could be game. He makes one man miss. Running the football is interesting. It's an interesting move there because now, if I get sacked, the game's over. But I don't trust the field goal. So, I mean, I know you think, hey, just take the field goal, just take the field goal. I just don't trust it. I'll take the touchdown. Devin Duvernay. How do you not line someone up across from him? Big touchdown. We take the lead. 12 seconds remaining. And how do we line up to pitch this? I'm actually cool with the stretch. And we have first one free. They came out in goal line. I mean, we're going to ignore pressures here, so let's just see what Pro Reads does. I don't know what happened there, but I'll take the two-point conversion. We go up by a touchdown. That's huge. Now, what's unfortunate about this is just 13 yards passing from Drew Locke here loses my star dev upgrade for Luke Townsend. They're going deep. Intercepted. Intercepted. It's a user pick. Isaiah Simmons, easy reads, game over. Big win for the Austin Desperados. T's going to get the final play of the game. And he's actually just still going. 10 yards. He's going to finish with 20 for 140. 
two touchdowns. Big, 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 big win in what was an extremely hectic down to the wire finish. And we should have star death for Luke Townsend. Super hectic game. Uh, Schmidt was decent. Three total turnovers is not good. Interception, of course, touchdown there at the end. Rushing, though, Edward Teague was the man. 20 rushes for 140 and two touchdowns. Broke two tackles. Oh, Matthew Schmidt actually fumbled four times. Yeah, I think we recovered one of those, maybe. <laughs> Still at eight rushes for 111. Big time playmaker. Big touchdown as well. Uh, receiving. Kind of a weird game, but Devin Duvernay had nine catches for 93 yards of TD. Troy Weldon, five for 73. Pat Bridge got involved too. Big drop for uh, all of our top four receivers there. Naheem Hines, surprisingly, didn't have a drop. And then defensively, Jameel Hallman led the team in tackles with not that many. No tackles for loss. One sack, big one for Jeremiah Langford. And then an interception at the end for Isaiah Simmons and Orlando Jones had one to start. He also had two pass breakups. Forced fumble, of course, for Jameel Holloman, recovered by Clarence Trent. And no defensive touchdowns. But what a crazy game. It's nice to get a win. So we do have big upgrades. Edward Teague is going to be a huge one. So he had his best career game. He goes up to a 75 overall. Give me like spin move plus eight. But plus two, that's okay. Spin move goes up to an 82 now. And then Matthew Schmidt just need his general accuracy to improve. But also, like I love throw under pressure and throw on the run. So I'm going to do improviser. I want those to go up pretty badly. Throw on the run plus three. Throw, plow, or throw power plus one. And then throw accuracy short goes up by one as well. But that throw on the run going up to an 83 is huge. Because I do that all the time. Short accuracy now into the 90s. Under pressure going up would be huge as well. Would, uh, would love for that to be better. And then Jonathan Reed at right guard gets an upgrade as well. We'll go into agile here. His overall is not going to go up to a 69. That would have been nice. But he goes up uh, in overall ability. And of course, Luke Townsend finally goes up to star dev. That is huge. Needed the screenshot there. Uh, and we also get plus 20,000 XP for that. Oh my god. I guess we'll do the final upgrades uh, before we go into the next week. Because I know you guys are going to see what Luke Townsend becomes now. He has five upgrade points. Jameel Holloman gets an upgrade as well. I mean, you know what? We're going to save that. Ah, that's mean. That's mean. If you guys watch all the way to the end, you should get the... Uh, to see the benefits. Jameel Holloman. I'm going to go run stopper, maybe. He goes up to a 90 overall. I would love for block shitting to go up, so that's why I did that. Man coverage by one. Tackle by one. Zone coverage by two. Yeah, Jameel Holloman is so good. 90 overall. And now Luke Townsend is a 78 overall with morale. If we can get man coverage up to an 80 and zone coverage up to an 80, that would be just massive. So I'm going to do zone coverage with my first one. Plus two zone coverage, plus two tackling. I'm going to do zone coverage again. We get plus two zone coverage, plus one tackling. Play rec in there as well. And now I think slot's going to be good so he keeps the scheme fit. That could address both, both of them. Man coverage by three. That's huge. 79 man coverage. I'm going to do slot again. And we're going to have one left over after this. Plus one man. So man coverage now into the 80s. And I think zone coverage will be my last one. He goes up to an 82 overall with morale. Major upgrades here. Awareness play rec, press by one, tackling by two, and zone coverage by two. So just a huge, 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 huge week for Luke Townsend. Gets star dev, gets five skill points to upgrade him as a player. Man coverage and zone coverage now close to the 80s. And very quickly, suddenly, out of nowhere, Luke Townsend goes from just a decent player to a star dev rookie cornerback who's playing up to an 82 overall which is the highest overall corner on our team just an insane week jeremiah langford by the way continues to ball out he's just been fantastic block shedding is only 69 but that is nice he's up into the 80s let me check out before we end the episode the awards and see who's on pace for what 
Deshaun Watson with the Lions on pace for MVP. It makes sense because we just traded him. Uh, and then any Desperados in here? No, we throw on 100 interceptions. Uh, AFC Offense Player of the Year. No Desperados. Defense Player of the Year, Miles Garrett. Justin Reed at number six because of all his tackles, I guess. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Matthew Schmidt is in line for it, even though I don't really care. He already has Superstar X Factor, although the skill points would be super nice. So I guess we're going to try and keep that. And then Defensive Rookie of the Year, Luke Townsend. Jeremiah Langford at number two. DeAndre Tatum in there at number seven. Is he even in play for Best DB of the Year with all those picks? He is. Best Linebacker? No one in there. Sad. Sad, sad, sad. Luke Townsend up to six interceptions, though. Just kind of out of nowhere. We're getting pretty realistic interception numbers, though. And Jeremiah Langford is a rookie. Eight sacks. He could get double digits in just his first year. Three more weeks to go. I don't think we're going to make the playoffs. The best we can go is 8-8, eight and eight, and it just ain't happening. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Taking it back to the house, defensive joke, I'm laughing so loud.